Hi and welcome to a new video. In this video I just want to go through the latest uh, Rapture GTAX 11000 firmware update. So um, I know I've been making other videos and reviews um, about the other Asus routers and things like that. But I'm going to go back to my uh, main router here because we haven't had an update for a while. Um, so I've been testing this for quite a few weeks now um, since it came out last month uh, on the 12th uh, just to make sure that it didn't cause any more issues for anyone before I actually recommended to download it. So the short and sweet of it is that should you download this latest update and um, I would recommend that you do. It does fix a lot of vulnerabilities. I think it's around 13 um, vulnerabilities so I would definitely recommend it. And also adds a few features as well, um, especially for, for surround security as well and around the game acceleration. So we'll, we'll move on to, as you can see here, the update. It did come out on the 12th to 7th um, and it comes in not too huge size, around uh, about 67 uh, megabytes, per se uh, megabytes in size. So as you can see here, it fixes around or adds features. There's 10 of them, so it is quite um, a lot. And then also some of them, as you can see here, um, under one number, it fixes multiple um, CVEs. So as we can see here, it's first one is fixed an open SSL uh, CVE. As we've said before, the CVE is basically when a vulnerability um, has been found. This gets recorded in a central kind of database and uh, it's given a reference number. Normally it always starts with a CVE, it will have the year and then it will have a number after it. You can easily find in more detail as I won't go into each single one of them um, because I know it'll probably bore you to death. <laughs> so the uh, nitty gritty is that it basically it's a report and it's a reference number that's unique to that actual vulnerability. So you can just Google search them and most of the time it will take you to the uh, main uh, actual website and then you can read about all about the details and everything else if you're more interested. So moving on to as we said to number one uh, is the around the open SSL. So basically in a nutshell OpenSSL is a very popular um, library, um, so it's like a software library and it's widely used by many organizations and software applications and that's including Asus in their um, routers. So I recently revealed an OpenSSL vulnerability, um, so this one ends in 0778, can use uh, specifically crafted certificates to cause a denial of service attack. So this vulnerability affects both clients and servers um, in the actual environment. So basically the vulnerability lies in OpenSSL's implementation of a special algorithm. Um, and, used, and basically this is used to find the square roots of the numbers in the curve uh, cryptography um, at the heart of the encryption library. Uh, so this vulnerability occurs when instead of a prime number, a composite number is passed to the algorithm. Uh, the result basically is that it will cause a uh, factorization and uh, it then can cause an issue where, it, as we said before, a uh, denial of service. Uh, can, so basically a certificate can be created um, to cause a denial of service. So we don't want that on ours there. So that's a quite a bad vulnerability as we know denial of service is where you're flooding a connection uh, with um, lots of different um, devices that they've taken over um, and they're trying taking down servers and computers and things like that on the internet. So that's one vulnerability that's really good um, to actually done. And again, it does, um, with this issue, it will probably knock up your CPU utilization as well. When um, if you So if you are seeing a, a huge spike in your CPU um, in your settings, um, and it might be a sign that basically that there's uh, uh, an issue with your uh, router um, and so you probably best to reset it and then download the latest firmware. So next moving on to we've got the CVE uh, 2021 so this is 34174 so again it doesn't really give you <laughs> much detail there. So basically this vulnerability exists in all Broadcom uh, chips um, or oh, sorry, specifically it's the BCM4352 and the BCM4368 four chips. Um, so basically these are used a lot in the Asus uh, routers and a lot of others, uh, Asus routers as well. 
different models. So basically uh, any wireless uh, router using these chipsets will be affected. Uh, basically allows an attacker um, may cause a denial of service attack to any device um, basically the via association of or reassociation of the uh, frame. Um, so basically what it means is that again someone can access your uh, router um, if it has these actual chipsets in and um, basically cause a denial of service uh, attack as well. So take it over your uh, router to turn it into kind of an attack device. Um, again, how actually out in the wild it's being used, it might be, but again, um, it's just best to, as again, to update and keep up to date your uh, firmware as much as possible. Because denial of service attacks seem to be happening more and more and it's basically where uh, devices are being taken over with such of these as vulnerabilities and then these uh, criminals are then or gangs um, are then putting all the devices together so they'll probably even have hundreds of thousands sometimes millions of devices and then they'll uh, all set them to the attack one server and things like that and then of course that put cause a lot of stress on your uh, router as well because it uses up a lot of the uh, CPU and things like that so it'll slow down your network so yeah so that's another fix we've got there and then they've also they've added or thirdly added more security measures to block malware so this is the AI protection that we have um, so you, as in my previous videos around the AI protection this stops uh, malware and then some viruses and things like that and uh, it has a quite a lot of features on there to help protect you it's not a hundred percent protection again like i said um with ai protection just to note that it's always best to still have antivirus software um, installed on your computer if you can and a firewall on there as well um, but this is just an extra security feature there and they've added now um, some more security measures there so that's really good to see there they're still supporting this uh, router don't forget it's several years old now and we're still getting updates security patches and everything else um, so it's really good to see that they're supporting this high-end uh, uh, router next uh, number four you can see there there's a fixed uh, stored uh, xss vulnerability again i think we've seen these quite a few times um what the vulnerability is basically is cross site scripting um so it's known as uh, xss is a web security vulnerability that allows an attacker to compromise the interactions that a user has uh, with a vulnerable application so that's within our router basically allows an attacker to circumvent some of the original policy or securities that were built into our routers um, and this what what basically is designed to segregate different websites for each other so basically the cross-site scripting vulnerability uh, normally allows an attacker to masquerade as a victim user or as a user to carry out any other actions on, on your router so basically this gives them extra privileges and things like that um, onto your router so they can change or try and take your uh, login details and things like that um, so this one's always a is a as we see on the other firmware updates there's always a, an xss vulnerability coming out somewhere but it's good to see that they're actually keeping up to date with these ones um, that are coming out uh, fifth um, so as you can see here there is several on there um, they're fixed again on, under there I won't go like I said through all of them but saying the first one um, so this is the CVE 2022 uh, so that's basically a JSON uh, function so that's basically a JSON file um, holds information it's type of a, a kind of like your dot excel dot uh, doc files for word uh, it's, a, it's a json file um, and basically this uh, vulnerability is due to insufficient filtering for special characters in the uh, in your url um, in the parameter of the url so an uh, unauthenticated uh, lan attacker can overwrite a system file by uploading another file with the same file name which results in, of course, your router probably crashing and uh, giving you uh, very bad issues because you suddenly won't be able to access the internet. Again, hopefully these will all be uh, these are all patched. So, um, so it's good to see this update. But again, is if you do have to come across these, you might well have to um, factory reset your 
um, router if you do have any issues like this. Um, I'll go for uh, one more um, just to give you an idea of some of the others as well. And uh, as I said, I won't go through all of them. Uh, the next one is the 2397 one. So this is an update around, uh, again, um, basically the vulnerability is due to insufficient filtering again of the URL parameter. And again, it allows an unauthorized LAN attack. Um, so someone who's on your um, network, again, they have to be in your LAN. So um, you have to be connected to your LAN. So it is, uh, again, the probability of them trying to access it from outside on the internet is uh, smaller. Um, so the chances are, but it's always good to make sure that you've got these uh, patched. And uh, so basically this is, a, again, allows an unauthenticated LAN attacker uh, can overwrite a system file again by uploading another basically a port file uh, with the same file name so again it will um, cause you disruption on your uh, router and things like that these all are quite high uh, risk um, on their ratings so like I said in short and summary it is good to download this um, actually to your uh, router for the firmware six is they've added third-party DNS server list in the WAN uh, DNS so this is under advanced settings. Um, so basically uh, uh, helps users enhance their connection security by the DNS. Um, so in previous videos, like you've seen in my advanced uh, D, um, uh, router settings, you, you've got there the DNS as well. So this is where basically it's a phone book and it when you type in google.com, it'll go to the IP address. Um, so this DNS will give you more security as well on, on the drop down list of third party. So you'll like have Cloudflare, Google, uh, I think Quad um, and a few other big companies as well that offer you uh, secure DNS. So it's good to see they're adding more features there for our security. Uh, seventh um, is basically supporting now a safe browsing in the uh, router app. So basically this is to filter uh, explicit content from search results. So again, you can go into the app and you can set it in the router app and then devices or, or under family. Um, so you've got the two options there, whichever one you prefer. And uh, basically, as we said, it, it takes away, it turns on like the kid safe uh, version for your Google search results and things like that or Bing. Um, so uh, if anyone search anything, it would be fa uh, family friendly or kid friendly. Uh, number eight, again, they've improved the system stability. So this is just background uh, fixes they've done for everything. So again, this is really good um, to, you know, improving any bugs or anything like that uh, around the stability of the router. And again, as I said, this is quite a few year old now. And to be honest, it still is, you know, there is some bigger routers coming out with the new Wi-Fi 6E and things like that. But still, this is a solid, one of the best, I would say, um, Wi-Fi 6 routers out there that's capable still to this day and probably for the next uh, few years as well. Um, and then on 9th, um, so they fixed some um, frame issues. So again, this is around the, uh, when they talk about frame issues, they're talking about the um, basically the wireless uh, channels, uh, 802.11 uh, frames. Um, you know, we've got some uh, settings that are in the advanced settings of the uh, router. Um, so basically you can go in there and change some uh, issues that they had. So basically that's good again. Um, anything to do with the wireless to help it more, make more secure is better. And again, they've actually said that they've uh, the person that's found it, the company, and then what tool they've used as well. So that's good to see. And lastly, uh, is they've added now the uh, WT Fast to the triple uh, level game acceleration. So if you remember before, we had, because um, uh, the, the router when it first came out, it had different uh, settings. And this was a, a gaming router. Uh, as we said, you know, so this is the WT Fast. I think we've done a video before about all the gaming features um, around here. So as you can see here, it's basically a, a VPN or a game uh, network. So it's a GPN, as they call it, a gamer's private network. And it's, it's supposed to help you out for your network. So again, they've got over a thousand games supported. Um, so this will give you faster ping times and response times and everything else within your games as you can see here latency ping 
uh, and uh, fewer lost packets as well. And it redirects them to your their specialist servers for the gaming as well. And again, uh, the, the issue is just to be, just make you aware that this is a paid service. So you do a free trial um, and then for the rest of the time you're going to have to pay a subscription. So there is some pricing up here. Um, we can have a look so you can see in dollars. Um, you can save if you do a yearly plan and things like that. So again, uh, just be wary that there is a price connected to that if you are using that. But it's good, again, if you are a serious gamer, you've probably got these already, subscriptions, and you can just uh, sign into the router using that. So it's good that, again, they're adding, um, keeping the game acceleration feature of the uh, router up to date as well. Um, I know we have to pay a fee for it, but it seems like nowadays everything is a subscription service and you have to pay monthly. Um, so it's, it's you know, one negative you have to pay, but again, is they've had, they're keeping it up to date and giving you the option of the uh, feature as well. Okay, so I know this video is probably brought on a bit little longer. I'll put uh, chapters in so you can skip between them anyway. Um, and... I would advise that you do download this um, as soon as possible to make sure your router is secure. Okay, uh, thanks for watching and as usual if you have any questions leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you. And have a great day.